This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Sup everyone, this is Woken Red Pill here. Today's topic, I'm going to be talking about the things that we possess can never be our escape from death. This is a quick topic that I had in mind to speak about. And I know I've been making many videos lately about the pandemic and other YouTubers who are quite known in the manosphere. So like Soul TV 84, Spiritual Logic, aka Hulk, O'Shea, some other individuals has been pointing out positive and negative effects on the pandemic. A lot of bad things has came and come to pass because of this. But people are now being more selfish than ever. And it's only going to get worse. And recently on the news, this uh, weekend that just passed, Donald Trump has announced that the quarantine will be continuing up to April 30th if he hope no later than June so this could last as long as it'll intend to be depending on how bad this gets and it has been getting bad out here it's getting bad just a while ago not too long ago, last night, there was a, a a store that was just broken into and robbed. If that can happen, it can happen anywhere. Who's to say even that money that Donald Trump is giving out, how long will it be if it's just a one-time thing? They're probably praying and hoping that this can clear up with in a few months. But studies said online that making a vaccine... That can cure an illness could take up to a year to two years because the FDA has to approve it. And many higher ups has to approve it. They have to test it out. They have to make sure everything is okay. They have to make sure there's no side effects. And even if they could rush this and find a cure for this so-called disease, COVID-19, COVID-19, whatever they want to call it. If there's even a virus or they're poisoning the air, whatever the case is, people are going crazy out here. There's racism happening, people attacking Chinese people randomly, people are Asian being called out to be Chinese. A whole bunch of crap is happening. I live in New York, upstate, and it's already making me worried as well, you know? Most cases, most people think that stuff like this isn't going to bother them, but it does. It should make people worry. If you don't have to worry about much, then I applaud to you. Take care of yourself. Do what you have to do. And also be mindful of other people because many people now are not mindful of others, especially when they want to go into the market. They want to get their toilet paper their food, all their daily needs, knowing to the fact that many people are selfishly taking 10 to 20 items at a time for themselves. Like if this is the last day, like every day is, a, uh, every day is the last day that they're going to be alive. Or if this is some zombie apocalypse, I even referenced Resident Evil in one of my last videos because of this all the things that are materialistic in this world they're vanity they turn to dust they could get destroyed they rot our soul and our life force can be gone without one time and that's it
that said that one time that our life is gone, that's it. We only have one life to live. We don't have multiple lives. We don't have nine lives. A lot of people likes to hold on to possessions too much to where there's, it becomes part of their soul. It becomes part of their everything. This is reminding me of that, this one female who lost her Instagram account. She went crazy and she said that it was her life. And she cried over it. She cried over views, attention. This is how deep many people are now. And their smartphones, technology. We're being conditioned to think that these are the things that keeps us alive. Like, it's our air. When the things that we need to live more is food, clothes, shelter. And that's it. And you'll be fine. If the internet did not exist right now, many people would value friendships a lot more than they do in today's time in 2020. Many people would not take many people for granted. Many people would know how to value friendship, how to value value connection, how what it means to value a relationship. Many people does not value that anymore because they feel people are discardable or they are replaceable. Just like items, just like cars, just like cell phones. Everyone sees everyone as a replacement, a utility, someone to just look good with. Like a, a, that new Gucci handbag that that woman wanted to buy in the store. A lot of people likes to see the dating market and people now as someone to use. And then once they're done with you, they throw you away. It's just like a cell phone. It's just like a handbag. They, are, they always want something brand new. People got to break that curse if you're already stuck in it and you even find yourself to even be so obsessed with anything that you want to hold on to, that you'd rather throw your life away for. That item that you're holding on to, it has no vanity. It has no life force. It doesn't mean anything. It's meaningless. When you put work into, a, into the accomplishments while you are alive, That is something you could always hold on to because you left a legacy behind. You wasn't just on your phone. You didn't you wasn't just on your PS4. You wasn't just showing off that brand new Mercedes to those strangers that doesn't care about you. You was putting in the work on leaving a legacy on what you did that actually impact and changed people's lives, their spirits, their souls. The people that you saved. The people that you inspired. That should be one of the things many people should be thinking about. But many people are too self-centered and thinking of themselves too much. To where it's the point. To where it's like they don't care if that person comes in the market. And they can't find any food for their children. They can't find any baby wipes for their kids. And I'm referencing to all the stuff that's been getting out of stock. Because of this whole quarantine pandemic. Many people are very, very, very selfish. This is basically exposing human nature in the evil eyes of man. God spoke about this in the Bible. There's many scriptures that talked about people that were like this. There's a lot of evil in this world. People can be good now. But imagine if they can't control themselves enough to even go crazy to survive they would kill someone just to get what they want people gotta hold themselves accountable be careful out here all those nice cars those flashy clothes it's all vanity your soul means a lot more than materialistic items that has meaningless value your life has value on where you could go for eternity God is always that one being that has an internal life. The devil doesn't. The devil uses the materialistic things so you could idolize that instead. That's called a Satanist. A person who idolized themselves, love themselves a lot more than the Most High. That's how the devil deceives and lies to people by using things to get into things in our head like where are the gods? Like where are the gods of this world? Like we should be worshipped. Because of the things that we have. When it's all meaningless. And people knows that deep down. 
When you know that you're attached to your smartphone, your sneakers, you want to kill somebody because they destroyed it or they took it from you, then that, that lets you know how deep and how fallen you've gotten on people like that who rather sell their souls to these items, to these things that doesn't mean anything at all. In the end of the day, it all turns to dust. It has no life. You'll feel a lot better when you're a, you're a minimalist than a person who's so obsessed and being a materialistic being onto things that has no value or bear anything at all. That's all I got to say. This is Welcome to Play Hiller. Peace out. Let me know what you think. Share the video, like the video. All is welcome and God bless.